Edinburgh CISD Distance Learning Google Classroom Learning Series, Module 6, The Classwork Tab, Part 2, Creating an Assignment. In my Classwork tab, in my Google Classroom, you can assign work to your class. I'm going to hit the blue Create button and go to Assignment. Here are the options for an assignment. To add a title, to add instructions, and to add any corresponding attachments that could help to inform your assignment. So as an educator, we plan our assignments before we actually post them or give them to our students. So for this illustration, I have created a document with links and other information that will help me so that I can paste it into this assignment. Let me show that to you. Here is a Google Doc with the same headings as the assignment. You have title, instructions, and any material that I'm going to want to add to this assignment. I'm going to move back to my classwork. If you notice, I, it begins by asking me for my title. So I'm clicking over here, and my title is Assignment 1, Creativity. Let me copy that. Come back over and I'm going to paste it back to my planning document. And these are the instructions that I want to give my students. Write a reflection on the following topics. Use the attachments to help you. I'm going to copy that and paste it over. Now, I want you to notice here on the right hand side as i'm attaching things or pasting things in it is automatically being saved it meaning my assignment i'm coming back now to the bottom of my assignment options and i'm going to now look at this add button with you when creating an assignment you have the option to select files from google drive to attach a link to upload or attach any files that are on your computer, and to search YouTube or paste a URL if you've already previously looked for a resource that you want to add to your assignment. Since I've already done some of this planning beforehand on that document I previously showed you, I'm going to go back to it. There it is. And in the Add section, you notice I have a link. I'm going to copy that. I'm coming back to my assignment and I'm going to add a link. Paste it in, add link. Now I have successfully added a link to this assignment. I'm coming back to the add button. And now I want to attach some files. When you insert files into your assignment, you can either upload them, add them directly from your drive, add them from a shared drive, or from your starred container from your Google Drive. I'm going to leave it on upload. And I'm going to select the files from my device. Here is my photo. I'm going to attach it. Photo is being uploaded. I want to add more files. I also want to add a PDF document. So I have two files that I want to share with my students. Then I select upload. Now I have successfully added two files to this assignment. I want to point out that you have options on each of those attachments. Students can view the file. Students can view the file is the default. I'm going to select this drop down menu. Students can view file means they simply can view it. If this happened to have been a collaborative document, you could have allowed the students to edit the same file. You can also make a copy for each student. What would this mean? This means that 
I want every one of my students in their own Google Drive to have a copy of this photo. I'm going to leave it on students can view. Chapter four, innovation. This was a PDF document. I want my students to only view it. I'm coming back to my add button. And this time I'm going to select YouTube. Remember that you can insert a video by searching directly on YouTube. I've already gone in and previously searched for a good video for this assignment. So I'm moving over to URL. If you notice, there's a blue line under URL to signal that this is where I am. Now I'm ready to paste the web address. So I do have that planning document. So I'm coming back to this. And here is my YouTube video link that I've already previously planned out. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it. Looks like I grabbed the wrong URL. That's okay. I just can backspace and delete it. I'm coming back over here and I'm grabbing the correct URL. Let me copy that. Come back to my classwork and paste it in. And there I have a YouTube video. Now I'm going to add. If you notice on YouTube video, you don't have those same options that you did earlier. Students will simply click the link and watch the video. Now I'm going back up to the ad and I'm on the last thing that I want to attach to this assignment before I actually post. I do also have a couple of other options that I need to look at before officially posting this assignment and giving it to my students. But before I do, let's look at this Google Drive option that you now have. To check for understanding, I want my students to fill out a document that I want them to return to me. I have already created this document and it is saved in my Google Drive. If I scroll down, I'll see it right here. This is the reflection document that I want my students to type on and return to me digitally. I'm going to add it. Now it is listed here at the bottom, Google Classroom Assignment Reflection. So students can view this file, most definitely, but that's not what I want. I want my students to view it, yes, but I want my students to each have their very own digital copy. This is like you walking over to the paper copier and making them a paper copy of their own. By clicking this, each student will automatically get a copy of this file in their own Google Drive, and they will be able to return it to you. I'll show you that option at a later time. On the right-hand side of this assignment, you have other options. Let's look at those before we post this assignment. Secondary teachers might really love this feature. If this assignment applies to more than one of your classes, you can select any classes that this assignment pertains to. If this was an assignment for particular students, you could bring down the drop down menu and assign the students that you wanted to hand this to. You also have the option to make this an ungraded assignment or leave it at 100 points. You have the option to add a due date. I'm going to make this due on Friday. I want to point out that this due date will create an event in the attached Google Calendar for this class. On topic, I don't have any topics yet created. When I organize myself, I might want to organize myself either by unit, maybe by week, 
everyone has their own organizational method for the learning in their class. So for this example, I'm going to say create topic and I'm going to say unit five. Now I've added a topic. At a later time, we'll look at rubric and originality report. So it looks like I'm done. On the top right hand corner, I can either assign it right now, schedule it for a later time, save it as a draft, or throw it away, discard it. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I worked so hard. I'm going to go ahead and assign it. And now you are black. It takes you back to your classwork tab. If you notice, unit five topic is at the top. And underneath, snuggled underneath, you have your very first assignment called creativity. Over to the right hand side, you can edit that assignment from here, delete it, no way, <laughs> and copy a link to it in case you need it. In the drop in the in the dots or ellipses at the top if you click that you do have the option also to rename this topic to delete it or copy a link to this whole topic and any subsequent assignments that you have filed under that topic this concludes our module six the classwork tab part two creating an assignment